morning, Metrolina. Good morning, Metrolina. Good morning, Metrolina. Good morning, Metrolina. Hope you're module learning a lot this week. Good morning, Metrolina. My name is Caitlin Reeves. And I'm Donnie Coleman. And we're with your WNCA News Crew. Today is Thursday, October 22nd. Now here's Maddie with some more upcoming announcements. Our annual high school powder puff game will be October 22nd at the Athletic Complex. There is no charge for the event. The first game starts at 6 o'clock. We hope to see you guys support your girls. Be in prayer for our 8th grade students as they all are on a retreat at Lookup Lodge. They will return on Friday at the end of the school day. 9th grade students are going to Bon Clarkin next Wednesday through Friday. Be in prayer for their safety. If you have any questions, please be sure to talk to, to a 9th grade teacher. Math Counts with Ms. Seward has been changed to Friday mornings at 7.30. We will meet in her room, which is located in the Saucemen. October 9th will be the first meeting on a Friday. At times, we will challenge Ms. Sadler's math club to claim warrior status. Hope to see you there. That's all I have for you. Now here is Hannah with more announcements. Thank you, Maddie. St. John Photography Pictures are now available. To see your pictures, go to their website and click on Order Photos. Choose Schools and then find Metrolina. The access code is MCAC. Be sure you check out your pictures and choose one to be in the yearbook. If you do not choose one, then one will be chosen for you. Report cards are being posted on Thursday for parents and students to see. See you this year will be every other Friday. There is see you this week. The speaker is senior Billy Edwards. We hope to see you there at 730 in the Youth Center. Now here's Landon with more announcements. Thank you, Hannah. Next week's chapel speaker will be Adrian Dupreeze from Forge Ministries. The annual Cornerstone kickoff has officially ended. It was a great success, and we want to say thank you to Mrs. Bostick, Mrs. Braswell, Mrs. Cox, and the many others who helped make it a success. Thank you, everyone, for helping to support Metrolina through monetary gifts and prayer. After all the calculations, here are your division winners and Penny War winners. Now here's a small thank you from the students of MCA to all those who have supported us. Thank you so much for all that you do. Your generosity was seen and more appreciated than a jelly bean. Your prayers were felt, they made my heart melt. Thank you for giving above and beyond and for creating a forever bond. So thank you again for all that you do. Remember, none of this would have been possible if it wasn't for you. I want to say a great big thank you to all of our families and extended family of Metrolina who've made a donation to the Cornerstone Fund. Your investment in Christian education will leave a mark for future generations. And from the bottom of my heart, I just want to say a, heart, a heartfelt thank you uh, for all that you do to make Metrolina possible. Again, thank you for all your effort over the past month. You can continue to give through the school website. Now, here's Ms. Giglio's Bible class with your weekly devotion. Metrolina. I'm Kaylee. And I'm Lauren. And what was just shown to you was basically a demonstration on how our words can hurt sometimes. And basically, the tube of toothpaste just represents our words. And if we say something rude or say something to hurt someone else, that's all the toothpaste coming out. And even if we try and take it back with like an I'm sorry, that won't work. And if we try to take it back with like, please forgive me, um, you can be forgiven, but it still hurts. So I just want to encourage um, you to just use words that will lift up someone and not hurt someone. And Kayla's going to read a verse. Proverbs 12, 18 says, The words of the reckless pierce like swords, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. So I just encourage you to be cautious with your words and have a good week. Back to you, WMCA Newscast. That was a great devotion. 
Any girl interested in playing basketball this year are encouraged to come to preseason workouts. Monday is 3.30 to 4.30, weight room. Tuesdays is skill development, 6 o'clock to 7.30. Wednesday is 3.30 to 4.30, weight room. Thursday is skill development, 6 o'clock to 7.30. Middle school and varsity girls are all welcome. Middle school tryouts start next week. Middle school wrestling tryouts are the 26th, 27th, or 29th from 3.30 to 5 at the CrossFit and Indian Trail. Boys and girls middle school basketball tryouts are the 27th, 29th, and the 30th from 3.30 to 5 o'clock. Boys will play in the FLC and girls in the J-Web. It is senior night at the Varsity football game on Friday. Go and support your Warriors. Now back to Caitlin and Donnie. Thanks, Braxton. That's all your announcements for the week. Be sure to check us out on our social media sites. Have a great week, Metrolina. Now here's your slice of advice for the week. Hello, MCA Warriors. I have a piece of advice for you from my Uncle Roscoe. Don't squat with your spurs on.